Hey, how's it going guys? This is Jake Motzinger again. Um, just wanted to come at you with another uh, deal diary, I guess. So today was my third day at the new dealership and um, I sold another vehicle. This time it was a new vehicle, which was a first for me because everything I've sold before this has been pre-owned. So that was pretty interesting and I, and I liked it actually. I liked it a lot better. There was a lot less <clears throat> to, to worry about as far as objections to overcome and things like that. Um, basically, a, a sweet lady came in and said that she was ready to purchase a new vehicle. She had totaled her old one, so I asked her what kind she had before, how long she'd had it. She had a 2007 uh, Avalon, so right then I knew that she liked luxury. That's the Toyota luxury vehicle right there, so I brought her in and talked a little bit about what she liked and she just said that she really likes the leather and the luxurious feel that the Avalon has but she didn't really care much about the sunroof she didn't know anything about the new uh, features on it like the new technology and all the stuff for your smartphone and things like that so I didn't really need to sell her on those things I just needed to sell her on the comfort of the car so I brought it up for her and we took it for a test drive actually I drove because she wasn't comfortable driving um, this new car in the city um, and then when it came down to it we we came back inside and sat down and looked at the numbers and um, you know she was gonna pay cash which you know for a vehicle at that price point that's actually not very common um, I think this one the the sticker price was thirty nine thousand dollars and so what I did was I presented the numbers to her and I said here's the sticker price here's the discount we're already gonna give and this is the rebate that the factory is gonna give. So we're down to $34,000. And I said, all you need to do is just approve right here. And so she she asked, um, excuse me, she asked, what is it out the door? So I went back to the manager, I got the price out the door, and it was somewhere around $38,000. So immediately she asked, okay, what can, what can what's the best price you can do? And I knew that was coming, and that's kind of something that you learn with sales, is you start to learn the next step or the next objection. And so I, I said, I think I think this is as, this is pretty close to the best we can do. We've already given a discount here. We already have this much rebate going here. There's not a lot more room. But what kind of a number were you thinking of? And remember, we're at thirty-seven thousand, about five hundred dollars. And she said, I'm thinking thirty-six. And I said, um, ma'am, I'm. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think we have thousands of dollars left in this. I think we may have a few hundred dollars. I think if I came up to my manager with a number like 37,750 out the door, he probably he could probably do that. If I can get him at that number, would you go ahead and take it today? And she said, I don't know. Should try 37.5 and I said okay so if I can get him to 37.5 out the door you take it today right and she said yes so I brought that to the manager and um, the manager said we could we could do 37.750 and so I brought that back to her and I and she and I said he came he said 37.750 is there any way that you could go ahead and take it today for that and she said I don't know I said is $250 really gonna keep you from bringing this home today and she kind of hem and hawed and I said how about this what if we split it and I did 37 625 out the door and she said okay if you can do that that's it and I said absolutely that's your bottom dollar I understand that's your top dollar I understand I'm gonna take this back and see if we can get this done right now and she said okay so I took it back he did approve it and that was it after that it was just you know taking care of her and then after she got out of finance it was setting her up and introducing her to the to the rest of the vehicle and actually I drove her um, rental vehicle back to Enterprise and then she drove me back to the dealership in the new car so we spent a lot of time with her and that was great because I know that you know in the future she has a trusted person to come to and for me it was a great experience to learn you know at sort of a slower pace all the steps in this new process that I'm learning here at the dealership. So um, all in all, it was a great experience. Um, sold a 2019 Avalon, and I think, you know, the customer left very happy, and I'm happy too. So thanks for checking in, guys. Um, I'll send you, uh, you know, send out videos every time I make a deal, and even when I miss them sometimes. So have a good one.